Good morning and welcome to your daily sparks. You know, the natural man is spiritually dead, separated from God. He doesn't have the presence of God in his life. He doesn't know God. He doesn't understand God's ways. Essentially, he is what we call the flesh. His mind has been conformed to the pattern of this world. See, the brain is physical and it's part of the body, but it functions like a computer. The mind is the programmer. The body picks up data from the world through its five senses and acts accordingly. The mind chooses how it interprets that data and the brain stores it. The emotions are essentially a product of how the mind chooses to think and interpret over life's events. When we're born again, the Holy Spirit takes up residence in our life. Because we are now spiritually alive and united to Christ, we get to have the mind of Christ, which means our computer gets to come online with his. However, nobody pushed the clear button on the computer. The brain is still programmed to follow the world and to live independently from God. The battle for the mind is this. The flesh sets its desire against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh, for these are in opposition to one another. It says that in Galatians 5.17. Your mind is like a computer, but you don't get to hit a button when you come to Christ and wipe it and start again. It takes time, but as you look to him, as you allow his word to start to conform your mind, to start to shape and mold your life, then you'll find before long that your mind is programmed for heaven and not for flesh. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.